Chris Stegman Coliseum on the University of Georgia campus hasn't seen lines like this outside in a long, long time. The reason the opponent tonight, the Kentucky Wildcats, have already made history. 29 straight to start the season is a Kentucky and SEC record. And tonight, the quest for perfection continues here in Athens, Georgia. Pat Adams shows it in the air. We're underway. Jim Burr and Doug Sermons, the other two officials. Size Lyles. advantage for Lyles. Yep. Working on the inside and a nice move. Drop step to the baseline. And Kentucky scores first. Andrew Harrison with a hook shot. Got it. Missed the shot though. Loose ball. Rebounded by Kentucky. Aaron Harrison going up and under. And he scores for the first time tonight. And I've maintained all year that if they are healthy, that they can possibly be the team to beat Kentucky. But we got a long ways to go to find out. There's one of the fine shooters in the conference, a freshman, Devin Booker, with his first basket. He got a pick from Thornton. He took it all the way to the basket, got it back, and had Willie Colley Stein slap it back in his face. I don't know what he was doing there on that second shot. And the foul is going to be by Dakari Johnson. And after that, I'm not sure exactly what Gaines was trying to do there, but terrific job by Booker pushing the ball up the court. But it's Kentucky ball. Those things are only reviewed in the last two minutes. Towns, hook shot's good. Well, you let him get paint under his feet and get that deep, he's going to score. Carl Anthony Towns has really developed into an outstanding college player that is going to be a top five pick whenever he decides to come out. Euless caused that steal. Oh, I didn't think... Collie Stein could get that high, but he could. This is some serious length. I thought he threw this one out of the gym, Jay. Well, Willie Collie Stein is a freak athlete, and you can see him getting a little freaky right there. How <laughs> for shame thinking that he couldn't get up that high, Brad Nessler. That, that's amazing. <laughs> Marcus Thornton threw up a prayer as the shot clock expired and it went in. Booker answers with a three on the other end. Well, that's the way you answer a prayer. Nice pass. Miles gave up an open shot and works for that one over Thornton. And then the follow by Lee, who one hands it and throws it down. Since last year in the NCAA tournament against Michigan, where he had seven offensive rebounds, nobody boxes out Marcus Lee. Just a little bit of help, and you got to drop down, rotate down. And that just absolutely did not happen. Cameron Forte needed to be more physical and get down to that baseline. They are just picking off Kentucky and the Wildcats not communicating on that low cross. Three pointer goes for Andrew Harrison and he can be a game changer if he gets hot from the outside as they did to Arkansas over the weekend when they went 21 out of 28 from the stripe. Georgia sticking with the zone. Fade away by Harrison. We said don't let him get hot. He hit a three. He hit two free throws and now he hits another bucket and Kentucky's got its biggest lead. A nice little step back. Got some separation from Cameron Forte. Looked like there was a, after that basket, a little bit of a warning for delay a game. Just because somebody's in front of you, you still have to score. Harrison got a three. That's Aaron Harrison, his first three of the night, and it ties it up for the seventh time tonight. Well, along with Devin Booker, Aaron Harrison's the leading scorer on this Kentucky team. A streaky shooter. He's not shot the ball all that well this year. And that's a, th those are shots that are difficult to hit over the Kentucky defense, but Gaines has got to make those. We've had 15 lead changes, seven ties, and Harrison got his own miss. Taking it inside for a second attempt and got it. Let's see if the basket's good. It is. <laughs> Floor opened up wide for J.J. Frazier. Nobody came over to block or challenge that shot. Towns really threw a shoulder in and scores in close. That's only his second field goal of the night, but it brought the house down and it brought a timeout from Kentucky. Georgia sticking with that zone. Good That's job. a good move. Good job to get the ball inside. Harrison had a moment. Forte got out on him. And now the hook shot goes by Towns again. That's his move. They get that basket to Mayton, and the lead again now stretches to nine. 
and just got cut to six by Andrew Harrison. Frazier turns, fires, came up short. Way short. And now Kentucky's got a chance to cut it down to two. And it is by Lee. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is presented by Cree LED Lighting. That's 36 points in the paint for the Bulldogs. Here's Towns, and he has been the man in the second half. It moves like that. 10 and a half, 12 in the game. And they are really spreading out. Kentucky. Man against Andrew Harrison. Had it taken away from him by Carly Stein. And now the outlet, Aaron Harrison. And he's got a chance for a three-point play. Boy, what a turnaround there. A potential and one. A little spin move by Charles Mann. And Kentucky has been very effective at conversion. They get the ball down court quickly. And Gaines with really kind of a needless foul there. If you're going to foul... Well, Kentucky shooting under 40% in the second half. What a rebound. Oh, Pauly Stein can't ever let that happen on a missed free throw. Boy, that's a four-point play. Chance for Kentucky to give us our 10th tie of the night. Or they could lead with a three. Aaron Harrison through Gaines. Got it. We're tied for the 10th time at 62. Well, Aaron Harrison has really improved that mid-range game. That shot fake got Gaines off balance. Three minutes to play. Ten on the shot clock. Towns got his man in the air. Goes inside. Doesn't get it, but the second try is good. Just That's a terrific job by Carl Anthony Towns. And Thornton should have taken that charge or tried to block that shot. He just backed away there. Maybe because he was in the charge circle, but just too easy. Freshman on freshman. Eulis leaves it for Towns. Oh, just a beautiful play. Mark Fox takes out his seniors. Their last time that they'll set foot on Stegman Coliseum floor in a competitive game. And boy, they gave Kentucky as much competition as they wanted. But Kentucky remains perfect. It's now 17-0 in conference play. It's a perfect 30-0 to start the season.